How's it going everybody? This is Josh KI6NAZ. Today we're going to talk about a fun CW training aid called the Morserino. In this case, the Morserino 32. Morserino 32 is a training aid and a keyer. It also has the capability of transmitting on Wi-Fi. Pretty uh, nicely thought of kit. It comes with two acrylic slabs and there are mount points on the surface and control items on top. You have the ability to interface with the uh, radio. You have the, what is that? Oh, there's your audio in and out. You have a headphone jack and you have a keyer input on the front here. Um, it also comes with two touch sensitive keys. All put together, it has an antenna on the top, the keys are on the side here. You can use your own key and it has a place to connect a battery that you can slide underneath the Heltec board. Or this will also work off of a micro USB USB charge bank. At the time of recording, this has completed its Kickstarter phase and has been shipped out to the people who were involved in its Kickstarter. You can still get it off of morsereno.info. You just need to contact the person who operates it. And it's about $90 shipped to the United States, which is a bit high uh, considering that other standalone devices are uh, much less expensive. However, this has a lot of perks over some of those devices, which uh, we're going to walk through the features right now. So the Morse Reno has a standard CW keyer like what you would use for any other standalone radio thing that didn't have a keyer, right? Plug your dumb key into the keyer, connect that to your radio, and that's what gives you the dits and daws if you're using a paddle. There is also a CW generator, and that CW generator will do random words, it will do abbreviations for CW, it will do call signs, it will do English words, and it will also do a file playback over CW. And you can upload a file via Wi-Fi. This is Wi-Fi enabled, yep, pretty cool as well. And then on top of that, you get an echo trainer, and the echo trainer will basically, with a blank screen, CW out some tones, some characters, and then you have to decipher it using the same um, options as before. So you could use CW abbreviations, call signs, mixed words, English words, and it can also play a file, and it will randomize that and play those out, and then you basically have three chances to key back the same word to the Morse Reno, and it will tell you if you did it correctly or not and then it will finally tell you what the, the answer is if you screw it up. And then this also comes with a Koch trainer, which can go through your standard Koch lessons, adding one character on the predetermined Koch list of characters, ramping it up as you go, and you basically just play those over and over, paying attention. What makes this fun is that you are kind of active in the use of it. It's not just listening to audio, which is common with a lot of other CW training devices or apps. Nope. <laughs> so you gotta be fast.
Ah. Line. I put dine. It should have been. <laughs> Not fast enough. So one of the weirder features is that this will do LoRa Wi-Fi transmission. So it kind of functions as a transmitter. LoRa is spelled L-O-R-A. And basically it is a worldwide standard. I believe it came out in Europe for using Wi-Fi for long range um, comms. Now, depending on which country you're in, the space of megahertz that ex is accepted for lore use will vary completely. I have not examined much with this uh, particular feature yet, and I'm not even sure if the Morse Reno I have has the US frequency set up, and I, I saw no way to change it, so I am going to look into that before I say more about it. And last but not least, it is also a CW decoder, so if you have a line input, it will decode CW that you are receiving or is around you or whatever, which uh, not really a feature you're going to use very often. Some of you might. Some of you actually might just use it for that. I, I don't know. Um, I don't use it that often. I'm primarily using it for the classes which you can take, which are, are pretty fun. Um, not necessarily the coach, the coach method, but I like the echo trainer. The echo trainer is cool because it'll spit out like a word, uh, maybe three to six characters, and then you have to go back to it with the same characters. One point of note with the Morse Reno, it is very particular in your spacing and your form of your characters. It holds you to a high degree of accountability, and uh, you, you probably need to do it pretty well you need to put your characters together pretty well or it, it flunks you out and gives you the eh tone that you failed. There already has been one patch that has been made available, version 1.1, which now comes loaded on the Morse Reno. I just got mine. It took about 10 days to get here from Austria, and that's okay for overseas travel. Uh, it's a interesting device. It's one of those things where if you want a CW device that's not, you know, like an app on your phone, then it is intriguing. Some of the modes are much better than what you would use on your phone, for instance. Like I've used those, you know, tap CW uh, type apps. This is far better than that. The interface with the key attached or using your own key to which you can work the echo trainer is nice. You can work the Koch method via this. I noticed when using it, I didn't see a way to do Farnsworth spacing, which would have helped me out a little bit because that's predominantly what I'm doing. I'm doing 18, 15 to 20 words. Um, for the characters, but then we're adding Farnsworth in it so that I get enough time to not decode in my head, remember, but actually hear the tones and focus on those. So I Amazon shipped some more batteries. I got a couple of these 3.7 volt jobbers, and these work uh, flawlessly on the Morserino. So I, I would recommend them. Actually, I'll post a link in the description. You can check them out. They are 3.7, uh, 220 milliamp hour, so a tiny amount of power. But this will run this thing for quite a while because there's there's just not that much power it's putting out. Um, and yeah, so you can go totally portable with this uh, little device like that. I just wanted to show it because uh, I actually had to stop making the video for a couple of days waiting for the batteries to show up. So I better put it in a video. So as always with all my videos, would I buy this? Well, it's a bit kitschy. It's a bit of a niche product, I think, for some folks learning CW. If you want to never really take your hands off of a key or you want to be physical with the aspect of learning CW, which I think is a very good way to go to actually constantly be using a key or, or be involved in the, the physical aspect of CW. I think that's actually positive for the learning. 
there are plenty of apps you can use that are just for playing characters in your head and trying to copy, 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 copy. And I think you can only take that to a certain point and then you have to get physical with a key in, in doing CW for there to be some kind of weird connection between the muscle memory and the, and the synapses in your brain for receiving. I don't know if that's true. I feel like that's possible. So I think this is a good step in that direction. Um, again, I, I would recommend joining a club. I would again recommend getting some friends together and, and working CW in that way. But if you can't do that or you don't have those options all the time, then this is a perfectly acceptable option for those cases. If you are interested in the More Sereno 30, More, More Sereno 32, the link will be in the description. It's uh, moresereno.info. It's pretty easy. So please check those out. If you haven't already, please subscribe i'd appreciate it if you click that bell to get your notifications for when i go live which is every friday at 7 p.m where we talk about all things ham radio thank you so much i am josh ki6naz i appreciate you watching see ya